breaking news that shouldn't come as a surprise to literally anyone with critical thinking skills or, you know, any level of analytical memory. Joe Biden, guilty of things that they tried to pin on Trump. Big surprise. Shocker. Breaking news. <laughs> Joe Biden has been caught with multiple documents that were classified in various offices. First, it happened at a think tank in Washington, D.C. And now, when I was just looking up the article to do this video, I found out a second batch has been discovered. <laughs> the articles from the Post Millennial. Ew. Breaking. Hang on, let me get it up on screen here for you. Breaking! Biden kept classified docs related to Ukraine, Iran, and the UK from 2013 to 2016. Report! I don't know why I'm doing the voice. Sorry. <laughs> I'll give you the long and short of this article. I don't really need to go through it line by line. Joe Biden did a bad thing. Claims he had no knowledge of bad thing. His aides have now retrieved the documents and they're supposedly being stored in a secure location. Here's why that doesn't matter. If you or I did this, if you or I took documents to one of our offices or one of our employees, one of our direct aides, used our credentials to get access to documents that then took them to some office somewhere that we didn't have authorization to move, we'd be in federal prison. They tried to put Trump in federal prison for this, even though the president has exclusive and complete declassification powers. They tried to say that what Trump did was a crime and this is not. From the supremely cerebral Dash Dobfrosky, if I'm saying his name right, I don't care if I am, we get commentary like this. Good grief. CNN is doing a terrible job of informing its millions of viewers that Biden and Trump's declassified documents are two entirely different scenarios. One is criminal and one is not criminal. And, and I just, I love, I love how he cites no legal code. He gives no nuance to that opinion. He just expects you to believe him, even though it's an obvious and outright lie. Shout out to Yoshire Gessner, who has the top comment. He says, it is indeed different. Trump had declassification powers. Biden does not. If, rarely used if a rarely used Biden office has docs, there are more. And it's funny, he said this on January 10th. And uh, what do we get? the very next day or so yeah january 11th breaking second batch of declassified documents it's almost like people on the right have this crazy ability to predict the future by thinking critically about it watch and learn echo flex media <laughs> shout out to the video i released earlier today The left constantly projects things they're guilty of onto other people. It's, it's the rule of thumb. It's almost ironclad. James Lindsay, conceptual James over on Twitter, has this thing he calls the iron law of woke projection. And it's exactly what it sounds like. If, if you're woke and you accuse someone of doing something, you've almost 100% of the time done that thing. And this story is just proof of that. Will Biden see consequences? Will his aides even see consequences? No. Because if you're a Democrat, you can literally get away with murder. <coughs> Kennedy. <coughs> Car. <coughs> Girls round. <coughs> Clinton body count. <coughs> Obama droning. <coughs> American citizens in Iraq. <coughs> And uh, I just wanted to talk about this. It, it, 
I just, when things like this come up, I have to talk about them, even if just to remind people, even if just to highlight it a little bit more, the hypocrisy, the constant projection, the constant lies. How can you vote for people who constantly lie to you? How can you vote for people who constantly accuse other people of doing the things that they are often, almost always, in fact, later either accused of or proven to have done? I don't get it, but I don't vote for them. Have a nice day, everyone. See you in the next one. Welcome to the adventure.